Part 2. Lone Wolf and Cub, Sword of Vengeance, 1972, the first installment in a six-part samurai epic directed by Kenji Masumi. Lone Wolf and Cub, Sword of Vengeance, introduces us to Agami Ito, portrayed by Tamasaburo Wakayama, an ex-executioner who becomes an assassin for hire after his wife is murdered amidst political intrigue. Accompanied by his young son Daigoro, Akihiro Tamakawa, traversing feudal Japan using their distinctive baby cart equipped with hidden weapons. Together they navigate rival clans to seek revenge on those who wronged them. Combining intense sword fight choreography, stunning period setting, and a compelling bond between father and son, the film's commitment to visceral action has solidified its reputation as a classic of Japanese cinema. Lone Wolf and Cub, Baby Cart at the River Styx, 1972. Sequel to, Sword of Vengeance. Lone Wolf and Cub, Baby Cart at the River Styx, continues the epic journey of Agami Ido and his son Daigoro. Directed by Kenji Masumi, this installment delves deeper into their lives as they encounter various adversaries while accepting assassination contracts along their path to redemption. The film explores themes such as loyalty, honor, revenge, and devotion within its action-packed narrative, offering contemplative moments amidst incredible fight sequences. Known for its artful cinematography capturing picturesque landscapes alongside brutal violence, Baby Cart at the River Styx is often hailed as one of the finest entries in an iconic samurai franchise from 1970s Japan. Vengeance is Mine, 1979, directed by Shohei Imamura. Vengeance is Mine is a chilling crime drama based on real events. The film follows the story of Awao Inokazu, portrayed by Ken Ogata, a notorious serial killer who becomes one of Japan's most wanted criminals. Imamura skillfully explores Inokazu's psyche, delving into the complex reasons behind his crimes and painting a grim portrait of a disturbed individual. With its stark realism and intense performances, Vengeance is Mine presents a thought-provoking examination of human nature and the dark side of society. Dodeska Den, 1970, regarded as Akira Kurosawa's first color film, Dodeska Den offers an intimate portrayal of marginalized characters living in Tokyo's slums. Through multiple interconnected stories, the movie captures the struggles and dreams of these individuals as they cope with poverty and find solace in their unique ways.